Good afternoon, guys. I will continue video video series uh, from Unify Networking Lab, and in this video, I will show you how to load images. Um, already installed Unify Networking Lab VM, what we what we did in previous videos. We have three kind of uh, platforms what we are what we can use in Unified Networking Lab for. For loading images, we have to prepare a little and. Uh, uh, I'm using the WinSCP. I will show you WinSCP. So this is a freeware and the FTP client and as well as uh, SCP, which is used for uh, communication between your desktop machine and uh, Unified Networking Lab VM. So we are going to download uh, installation package. So we'll start shortly. I will not download because already already installed on my on my PC and everything is prepared. So the next will be the next thing what we need is console to our our VM machine which is one three seven fifteen. We created it before as you see. Yeah, it's the same. It is the same VM. And let's start. I'm going to start Venus CP. And uh, let's create a session. Choose SCP protocol 192.168.137.50. Uh, username was root and password was URL. You can save this option uh, for further use and uh, it's good. Okay, we did it. Login. So here we are. So on, our, on the right side, it is my UNL machine, and I'm going to folder the root. So so images. Let's start with a uh, simple one, which is IOU image. As, as known, do not ask me where, where to get these images, because it is uh, used for internal use of Cisco as well as licensing. But, uh, as you know, that IOU VM machine is very popular, and everybody used it before. That's that's why I think that you should not should not have a problems to get this. So let's start. This is IOU iOS, and we have another one. I'm upload download, which is drag and drop. Now we have to un unzip these two archives because you can see that extension is GZ and extension is here. Open up the console and follow what I'm doing now. So I'm thinking rename and copy the name of image G unzip image name. Done. Let's do it for another one. on the image name so images are unzipped but still you can see that with extension GZ it's about let's let's press refresh and GZ extension is gone now we have to move these two images to proper place let's do it I'm taking a move to and the pass is option unit lab add-ons oh, I forgot this pass let me check uh, option unit lab add-ons IOL binary you can copy this pass and into your clipboard and let's go back and move root marking two images and move to and I'm copying back the pass and moving these images to a proper place push so you can verify that images are here I I O U ERC file is licensed and uh, as well as so do not ask, do not ask me this file and the license for usage of these two images. This Cisco license. We just uploaded the IO images for 
our unified networking lab vm let's do the next it will be the very well known it is original images come came from cisco com site but it is uh, just unzipped and later is uh, compressed using the linux gz gzip yeah it's and i'm going to copy into the root same style for name I'm, I'm copying the image name opening console G on zip name done doing for the second image done refresh so GZ extension is gone, and let's copy the path where where the Dynamips images should be. Addons Dynamips. I'm taking this in a copy path to clipboard. I'm jumping back to root directory where we unzip it already, and move to and Control V Options Unit Lab Addons Dynamips. Done. The most interesting images are Chemo, which are running under Chemo platforms. And I'm going to, I have a CSR router, which is big, as you see, it's 800, uh, 800 max. As well, I'm, ta I'm taking the EOS, uh, which is a Rista switch. So let's move. It will take some time. Images are copied as you see is one and two, so I have another one and say say and let's copy it as well. Images are copy copied. Uh, let's go to console and the same style, but the command will be another because the chemo images will be unzipped like in a folder, and inside a the folder there are chemo image for each of these iOS. So rename, I'm getting the hey say. So and follow my command tar x z v f space name done and if you will press refresh you can see that the new folder appears here so this folder is unzipped and inside of them it is uh, image which is converted from uh, official cisco ova image so let's do for CSR router. It is bigger and take a time. So unzip it. And let's go last one. And the name. Tar. Done. And let's refresh. And you're gonna see the three folders are created and we have we have to move in a proper place now. Let's find it. Uh, it is under options, unit lab, add-ons, and it is a chemo. So this is a path where the folder should be moved. Let's take this path to clipboard, copy the path. And going back to root, mark your folders and move to copy pass, push. Done. These images are not no more needed here, and that's why I'm going to delete them. So machine is preloaded with images, and the last last uh, last thing left, we have to fix permissions. Yes, yeah, because when you are using some copy commands in a Linux a Linux environment, you have to fix permissions in your machine to get it working. This is a command which is used for fix permissions. Enter. Done. How to convert? Of course, you will ask you how you how you get these images working and how to how to convert in uh, UNO style and uh, chemo images. Everything is written in Networking Lab, and if you are going to how to 
and scroll back. Yeah, it's sent older and tries. And you can find out, yeah, it's uh, how Andrea did it, and I already created and using this few, uh, these instructions how to how to use. Yeah, it's sent very useful. So if you can get these images, adding Cisco IOL images, yeah, it's an upgrade. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of things. Let's jump in into article. Yeah, it's uh, as well. These are images which Andrea is supported and loaded. And we tried and type base and voice and so everything's there. And here is another fixed permissions command. This is a not. This is a license just for example. This number is not a license. It is included in the EIORC e file. So, uh, some, some compilations. Uh, Arista image, for example. Yeah, and here you, here you go. And you can see how we are converting and how we are doing this image and ready to work. From VMD, VMDK file, yeah, it's which is always included in our file. Yeah, it's an, how we are converting each to HD. QCOW, yeah, it's an end. Um, show you that the chemo image option, uh, lab add-ons, chemo, and if you're going to VLS, you can see it is converted to HDA, QCOW, the all instructions is given here, as well as uh, the ISO file is needed yeah, to boot this machine, as well It's you can download this everything from original, original vendor sites, and then prepare your UNL machine for that. Cool. My machine is loaded, and we can we can we can try to test its uh, sum of images. Uh, 192.168.137.15. Let's jump in. So I loaded a couple of. Uh, so we are starting to create a new lab. So version one. Uh, all right. So notes. So I'm I added. Uh, it is SAV. And you can see that images appear here. I'm adding this ASA. Uh, I'm adding the notes. It's it is just for test purposes now. Yeah, it's because how to create labs. I will show in the next video. And we we can see that we have some couple of layer two and layer three. We are taking layer three. It will be router one. It's with the serial. Let's do it. So two two maybe. Okay. Two nodes, and you can see that we have two nodes. The numbers can be changed. This is a number which which are given uh, from UNL lab uh, networking, UNL UNL machine and so. But you can later change uh, this name. For example, it will be R1, and, and this one will be R2. R2. So good. Uh, let's add the node, it's a layer 2 image, uh, which is IOL, and I'm taking the layer 2 image, and it will be switch, and the name of node is switch, and we are adding GAN, one, we not need not a serial interface, but we need more ports. Good, switch done, let me check if I need interface layer 3, it's good, add it. Layer two, it's good, and we have another one node we added is our Rista VEOS. Yeah, as soon as you see, I will give the 25 ports. Oh, VEOS, all right, and what, what else we have? No, it's not the network without nodes. So it is a 37 node. Yeah, it, it will be road switch. And I'm adding 16 port cards and just for test and start these devices to test. Okay. All right. And notes. What else we have? Uh, we have a Cisco CSR. Yeah, Cisco CSR. What's Cisco CSR? Cisco CSR 1000. Uh, you can add the ports. Yeah, it's a, as you see, they're pretty pretty much memory needed for these two and a half gigs for running this node just just to be informed about this yeah, it's, and let's do some starts so uh, let's start iOS routing start you can see triangle is triangle is appeared instead of uh, square and we can click because click we installed it uh, the last time and let's wait I'm starting the switch. Click, click on. Yeah, switch as you say started to boot. Yeah, it's everything is fine. 
Oh, switch is done. Uh, let's start and we are saying we are say use VNC as as a as a console and you can see that my ASA starts starts well. So let's start the CSR. CSR of course takes a time. You can see that the red balloon started to appear. Why it happens? Because uh, in, in, in powerful server and machines, it can uh, usually it do not appear, but it happens. It happens because the CSR, when it's starting first time, it copying the image from official store of UNL machine. It copying it to lab. And look at this. If you are going here um, to the uh, labs, no, it's uh, labs and a temporary folder is keeping your test lab. Look at this. If I'm going in and here are folders which are, as you see, it contains the same image but it's copied from official store. That's why the need the time while, uh, let's say, one gig is copied from two. Yeah, it's, uh, but you see that CSR started and, and we can jump in. So I'm going to pause and let the notes boot. My images is booted and now you can see that CSR is in CSR is booted and at this point he uh, it's saying that throughput is set to low default low default level is 100 kilobits but it is a full functional and still booting and show version it is CSR but for lab usage we we can use it yeah so you can activate some full full uh, full power license show license as well but it will work only for eight weeks yeah so you can activate the premium license which is installed inside of this router but it will work only eight weeks or you can use uh, default license which is full functional but limited in speed so, okay, so let's say I am switch show show version and so Linux IP base yeah it's not very well, very well known and show version so it is layer 3 and images 4.2 uh, let me start let me start another one which is a switch an old switch and a dynamics image so my dynamics image started and And you can see the first two interfaces are not in use because if you like to use this node like a switch, yeah, because these two images are, are road ports, yes, but the 15, 15 and other ports are acting like a switch ports and you can use it like on a switch. It is very well known from GNS and uh, from Dynamips who used it before and then in a version 4 of uh, some Cisco trainings or uh, networking clubs. I hope it was informative for you and thank you for viewing.